Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow here, and this basically can change your blurred or out of focus images to something which is crystal clear, like focused, very sharp images. Now for this particular example, I have taken an image that is extremely blurred. As you can see, you can't even figure out what are the things here. And one thing that you would find is problematic when we are dealing with these kind of images. in image to image it does not uh, like uh, make it very sharp and this is something that i have uh, seen is a little bit problematic sometimes it becomes more like a painting but this workflow is using a very diff different approach and i'll mention why because i am using ltx video and then sharpening it so i'll explain step by step you'll get the workflow in the description so don't worry about it you can download everything I am using Flux so you'll need Flux and there is another upscale model that I am using NMKD Superscale so you can also use Ultra Sharp I am using this one I'll provide the links in the description box all right so firstly there are two ways if uh, the image is not that much blurred or out of focus you can use Florence but I would uh, preferably suggest using a, like typing a little bit more about the image that is here you can see this was the original image right and this is also an ai generated image so it would not be perfect at these kind of things but now i blurred it completely so you can't even see that this is uh, like these are some kind of elements you will just see blobs what i am doing is that basically camera slowly focusing on the shot from uh, out of focus to sharp focus a few and then i am explaining everything a full view of king size bed in a hotel room you can add anything that you want okay and from here you can see this is going to ltx video so it is pretty much the same we are using like uh, the ggf model and uh, uh, if you have uh, previously worked with ltx video or my workflow you would know otherwise let me explain a bit the negative prompts are like uh, low quality worst deformed and uh, stuff like that okay and with that you can see this is the length we do not need uh, much of length because we are not actually going to use the video later on we just want it to focus so the prompt is going to make it focus these are some of the you uh, seeds that i used and i have seen that are pretty good so you can work according to that now here you can see this is the video from blur it is actually focusing and uh, filling in the details so this is something pretty amazing sometimes when the image is slow uh, so blurred that uh, flux isn't able to do that completely or it makes those like painting style effects you know now you'll find some problems one of them being this part so we don't know from where it came and it is just trying to fill up the things because again like it is uh, ltx video is not as perfect as uh, like hunyuan so here what i am doing is you can see when we are taking the images this actually goes as a, a batch of image so all the frames uh, are mixed up and then it goes to video combine so all of the frames are combined to create a video i am taking all of these batches from that length means how many frames we want just one and start is from 96 so here it was 97 total length so i am taking just one below that 96 so we are actually extracting the 96th frame from this video because till the end it is going to be sharpened like uh, the video is from out of focus to becoming focused right now as we have this as like a base ground i am using first of all i am using florence to uh, take all of these like uh, you know uh, the prompt we cannot use exact one because here i have mentioned camera slowly focusing on the uh, shot so when i if you you try to use that prompt sometimes flux is again uh, introducing some kind of blurriness right because it is not video 
so i'm using florence to extract all the details here you can see a large bed sitting against a white wall in room and everything right and with that this node is particularly i am using a download and load florence 2 model so uh, you can use this one florence 2 sd3 captioner and the thing is if you have not downloaded it it would automatically download for the first time you would have to wait for some minutes then it would run so you do not need to uh, download and put it in any folder this is one thing now here pretty simple uh, the gguf dual clip loader va right and the normal one you can see i am taking the guidance of 3 and it is going to the sampler custom advanced now one thing you would notice here we had these kind of artifacts like we didn't know what is this this is some kind of a pillow or what this is so these are being fixed here you can see it is because it has become like this blanket so a little bit of uh, reasonable details here you can see we did not have anything meaningful so now here you can see we have this right so this is some kind of a creepy looking soft toy but uh, it still makes sense about what it is and you can see subtle things like there is this handle and this shadow as well this was not the part here you can see like uh, it is good at focusing but again because this is not high resolution and rtx video is not as great as flux we are just taking the details so improving uh, improving this keeping everything same the composition same improving things and then it is going to the forex subscaler so here i have a switch for that you can like uh, mute it or enable it if you want to like uh, create a very high resolution image here and i'll show the difference so it just adds details you know here you can see the pot the details are being added so this is good you can see like the fur and everything details are being added right and for this we are using nmkd super scale i am using 20 steps and 1024 tile width and tile height you can change this according to the gpu if you reduce this i am using this on 8 gb of vram if you reduce this you would be able to fit it in like 6 gb of vram as well so that's the whole thing and this is optional the second part because it does not change it drastically you can see just the basket and everything these get uh, more details so it looks good the second image is the high resolution image so we are going to this from something like extremely blurred this image like imagine we couldn't even see what was happening here and we created something like this now if you compare the final image with the original one obviously it is not going to be exactly same because in the blurred image we have no idea what it is right either you can try to prompt it out this particular uh, whatever this thing is or it will take the most reasonable thing which looks like a mirror so you can do that but uh, i am pretty happy with this particular outcome and you can use it for even portraits and anything so use this uh, workflow let me know what do you think of it if you are having any kind of doubts or confusion and put it in the comment section below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you